Okay, weekly update for uh, May 1st for uh, all the communists out there. No, I'm just kidding. Um, wanted to start with, because we're, we're gonna, I'm going to be talking to Sandy today about uh, what uh, he and Jeff Seiler are developing on uh, can social media generate a, um, a new audience for Cerebus? And kind of an open question and like most old people, uh, I get I, I find out about what's going on with social media uh, from the newspapers, and uh, the the, uh, the coverage in the, the National Post on Wednesday. Um, can you zoom in on the? Have you got the headline there? With the beaking bad when the uh, the Twitter shares dropped 20 percent, 20 percent of the book value of the company gone in one minute. And everybody found out about this on Twitter. You couldn't make that up. Those are the things where I go, I don't know what that means or if that has any application to anything, but boy, are we sure living in a, in a different world now. So uh, we're going to use that as, uh, as a jumping off point for uh, asking Sandy, okay, what's, what's the general plan? What's the... Uh, Jeff, Jeff Seiler's financing it, you're spearheading it, uh, how, how, are we, how are we trying to find out if we can, if we can get social media to apply to uh, Cerebus in 2015? So what is the plan? So I guess really the plan, uh, as the name sort of suggests, Cerebus Online is trying to bring Cerebus you know, online. Uh, sort of uh, see if we can find a new audience for it. Um, you know, so the the, the, the very simple uh, version of it is that what we're doing is we're taking, uh, we're making a, a Twitter page, Tumblr, um, Google+, Plus, Pinterest, YouTube, whatever various sort of social media sites we think we can use, uh, just start sort of putting content uh, up there. Now, we can't, uh, so the strategy is not simply just to sort of put a bunch of pictures of Cerebus up there. You can create these sites and just start posting pictures of Cerebus. That doesn't, I don't really think, do anybody any good because you can just <clears throat> type Cerebus into Google and, and find uh, a bunch of pictures of Cerebus. So the, the key is sort of finding out how is Twitter different than Tumblr? How are we going to use it differently? How are we going to use that differently than, than Google Plus or Pinterest? So we're breaking all of that down. Uh, the, question, the question, can uh, social media be used to sort of help uh, promote Cerebus or help uh, find a new audience for Cerebus? I think the answer to that is yes. Uh, but the question is simply, uh, it just begs the question, well, how much? I mean, if we do this for a year, and then we find out that, uh, you know, a year from now, oh, we've sold two more copies of, of Cerebus online, well, that doesn't really sort of work. So right now, we're sort of trying these different sites and, and seeing what works. There was some research that we were doing uh, uh, the other week, and the online, or the, rather the print comic book market in uh, North America is about $670 million, I think it is. Uh, the online comic market is about 90 million, so it's already edging into like 15%. Uh, that, and this is really within the last four or five years. So it's already edging into like 15% of that print market without taking anything away from the print market. It's, it's sort of growing on its own. So taking that into consideration, it's like, yes, I do think Cerebus needs to be there. You take, take that into consideration also the fact that Cerebus hasn't been in comic book stores uh, as an individual issue for more than 10 years now. So you've got kids walking into comic book stores and they've never seen an individual issue of Cerebus. You know, they've seen the graphic novels and they can, might have heard about it, but they don't see it there on a, on a monthly basis. So how do we now reintroduce that comic to people like that, um, while at the same time serving the Cerebus fans who are already online? So I think it's sort of a balance of all of those. Here are all these sites, how do we use them individually, and how do we both serve the Cerebus fans that are already out there online and bring in new fans as well? So that's really the, the overall goal. Okay, so it's still it's still very early in this experiment, and uh, my idea was to keep it like completely external. We're not we're not focused on this. Is this has to accomplish these goals by such and such a date? Um, it's you're going to put in the time that you can that you can afford to get, dedicate to it, and then uh, gradually move that over to Jeff Seiler, so he's. Uh, He's doing it on his own. <laughs> you had the good line where you said that, uh, okay, you want Jeff Seiler to be your chauffeur, uh, but Jeff doesn't know how to drive, so first we have to we have to get him a car, then we have to teach him how to drive. It's a good point. And 
with social media, it's like that's not going to happen probably as fast as learning how to drive. So uh, I guess my, my next question would be, okay, this early on, a couple of weeks in, is there any success at all? Is, is, is anything happening out there? I, I picture like, you know, okay, we got like eight people uh, clicked on this thing. And, hey, great, we've got eight new people. Or uh, Margaret List clicked on it eight times to make me feel better. Okay, off screen, Sandeep has just whipped out his laptop and has crunched some numbers, so here he is with, my, with his answer to my question. I have crunched numbers. We definitely, we've definitely had some, it, it is very early, but we've definitely had uh, some early uh, success. The two um, sites were the most responsive were Tumblr and, and Twitter. Uh, Tumblr, so Tumblr is where I'm posting a page of service a day. And we're just almost at the end of, uh, of uh, issue three right now. And we've now got 351 followers. So within the space of a couple of weeks, that's definitely really good. And it's sort of um, it's growing steadily. Uh, that's been helped by the fact that there have been an, uh, a couple of stories. There's, there's, one in, there's one in Bleeding Cool and a couple of others here and there. It's like, hey, you can, now you can read service page a day on Tumblr. So that definitely generated some traffic. So already we're seeing that. And every one of those uh, images... Every post on Tumblr has got a link to servicedownloads.com, so soon, hopefully, we'll, be, we'll see some traffic sort of uh, directing that, moving in that direction. Uh, the other really popular uh, uh, site was Twitter. Twitter turned out to be has turned out to be really useful. We've got about 50 followers so far, again, just after a couple of weeks. But there's a sort of, um, there's a lot of engagement, as they say. You do see a lot of people uh, posting. I'm surprised at the amount of Cerebus and Dave Sim stuff there is on, on Twitter. There are people posting sort of comments, hey, I just finished... High society is great, or whatever, or uh, that sort of thing. Uh, a quote about uh, from Dave Sim saying that uh, <clears throat> um, falling in love makes smoking pot all day seem like an exercise in restraint. Apparently, is just all. It, it's still going on Twitter. It's been going on since 420. For those of you in the know, it's still sort of been going. So that sort of stuff does sort of make it up. Um, on top of that, sort of anything that you know, any post that I do there it certainly gets reposted by by Margaret. Uh, and there's that weird sort of interconnectedness going where uh, Tim will have a post on Moment of Cerebus, and so I'll take that and post that on Twitter. Somebody sees that from the Cerebus Twitter feed, and they post it to theirs, and so on and so forth. So it's a matter of Twitter. I see because it's so active, and there's so many people, and there's so much sort of comic stuff. A lot of comics work on Twitter. Uh, it's it's a question of sort of being in on the conversation when you're when you're on Twitter. You're just getting these tweets sort of constantly, sort of all the time. So I can't be monitoring it 24 hours a day, but I can go several times a day to see if there is any new service information, so on and so forth. Going back to my low-tech iPhone uh, article in the, uh, the paper this morning, uh, Thursday, April 30th, um, talking about serializing uh, on the Internet as a way of... Uh, uh, article by Hillary Kelly that was originally in the Washington Post and I was particularly drawn to the uh, uh, if the text speak murmurs are true snackable content uh, the term snackable content now drives the internet that uh, it's very possible uh, with this success on Tumblr that uh, sh should have been posting uh, Cerebus one page at a time uh, way back when, that that's, uh, that's a very small stack and uh, a very small snack. And as you had uh, uh, said to me uh, about your own experience with, uh, with your own website, uh, people bookmark stuff and people, you know, this, this is their, they have their coffee at 9 o'clock in the morning when they get to work and they give themselves 15 minutes or half an hour and here's the things that they check. Uh, well, how long does it take to read one page of service? So uh, that could explain that, could explain that one. Uh, now we probably went in the wrong order. We should have gone to the good news. But let's go right to the bad news now. Uh, what's not working? What just seems to be absolutely uh, service unfriendly? Let's call it that. Well, the two the two uh, social media sites uh, that really haven't been uh, uh, all that responsive <clears throat> are uh, Google Plus and uh, and Pinterest. Uh, really, sort of for two different reasons. Uh, Google Plus is Google trying to 
have their own Facebook, and they've just been struggling with it since they started. I mean, you've got to get people to migrate over uh, because people already have Gmail accounts, and uh, you have to have a G, uh, Google Plus account to make comments on YouTube. They're trying to sort of suck people in, but it's not... Uh, it's not working for them in general, and it's not really working so far for, for Cerebus. Um, now, it is working for me with my, with my Malcolm X material, but that's sort of, that's because it's so tightly uh, linked in with, uh, with YouTube. Anybody who makes a comment has to have a Google Plus account, so they're already sort of there. So that's, I'm hoping that in the future, that's where we can sort of draw some traffic from there, from, from YouTube once people, once you've got a bigger audience and people are commenting on it. Once you post it on Google+, Plus, people will see it in their feed of there as well. That remains to be seen, but that's all I know about from my own experience. So hopefully that'll, that'll sort of um, increase our traffic sort of there. Uh, Pinterest is another situation. Um, my own personal uh, guess about Pinterest is that... Um, and I, I, I still don't have a lot of luck with it with the Malcolm X either. But from what I understand globally, about 80% of Pinterest is women. And in North America, about 70% of activity on Pinterest is women. So it's a lot of uh, weddings are really big, um, cakes, that sort of thing. So how do you promote uh, service on that? I'm not sure. What I've defaulted to, though, is like, okay, well, if there are a lot of women here, and uh, they do like pictures of weddings and that sort of thing, uh, let's try a couple of Glamour Post pages. If we've got pictures of some models and we've got pictures of diamond rings and shoes and that sort of thing, hey, why not try that? You know, so again, whether or not it's going to be successful remains to be seen. But at least it's an it's a it's a roundabout way of generating some interest in the work. Then you find out who it is, and then may it be Cerebus. Now, there's no there's no uh, guarantee. So a year from now, we could have put just as much effort into Pinterest as everything else. But if we've got currently have two followers and two on Google Plus and two on Pinterest, now if that ends up being the same a year from now, it obviously just there's no rule that says everything's got to work. So if there's one that doesn't work, okay, that's fine. But I think it's worth pursuing because it doesn't take a massive amount of time. It's worth pursuing to see whether or not it's going to lead anywhere. So we'll see. Yeah, it's just I, I, I had to admit to myself that uh, this is just completely outside of my frame of reference. Uh, could be really important. Could be, you know, uh, I definitely can't rule out the fact that uh, Cerebus's entire future is online and in social media, but uh, you know I've also gone from being a guy who spent two hours online, basically just typing my update at uh, at a moment of service, and now that I'm doing a weekly update this way, uh, you know, and I got I still got the hand uh, to be dealing with. It's um, you know now I'm online once a month, so. This is one of those, uh, it, it's, it, it's so completely foreign to me as something to do, but I do realize that it's, uh, it's got to be important in some way, and, and parts of it have to be important. Uh, not really optimistic about it, but uh, definitely uh, very glad that you and Jeff are both willing to uh, put in the hours to uh, prove me wrong. I'm always delighted to be proven wrong on anything that uh, I hold as a as a uh, a central idea, and uh, you know it could take a year, it could take a year and a half. Uh, look how long it took me to find Kickstarter, and that's really what's keeping the whole thing uh, going at this point. Okay, so that'll do it for the weekly update this week. Uh, next week. I think we're going to go out back and show you what uh, what progress has been made on uh, the uh, the off White House copies. Now there's an enormous job to uh, get all of those sorted and and graded in descending descending order of condition. And um, Sandy, are you going to be posting some uh, some images of the uh, certificate of authenticity in uh, in progress? Mm. Yes. Yes. Okay. We have a qualified yes. Uh, before next Friday, or uh, I can do it tomorrow. It's all a question of uh, what sort of uh, what sort of you know. It's, it's, a, it's a work in progress. I mean, I could do it today. Sort of like here's what I've got right now. So yeah, we'll have it up by next Friday. Okay, sounds good. Well, it's these are Cerebus fans. They will always want to see the stuff in progress because <laughs> everything's in progress. Nothing's finished right now. Okay, we'll see you uh, next week for uh, 
the next weekly update, which will be May 8th.